Let's look at a second partial pressure example where now we calculate a partial pressure in a mixture of gases based on the mole fraction x of each component. This is example 8.15 in your OpenStax textbook, and we're looking to calculate the pressure of each gas in a mixture of two gases. The two gases in question are dioxygen O2 and nitrous oxide N2O. Nitrous oxide is what's more commonly known as laughing gas and would be a general anesthetic. The setup for this problem is a gas mixture used for anesthesia contains 2.83 moles of oxygen O2 and 8.41 moles of nitrous oxide N2O. The total pressure of the mixture is 192 kilopascals. You're asked to answer two questions about the gas phase mixture. What are the mole fractions of dioxygen and nitrous oxide? And B, what are the partial pressures of dioxygen and nitrous oxide? To answer the first one, we need to recall the definition of a mole fraction is the moles of the chemical you're interested in divided by the total moles in the mixture determines the mole fraction. So if you're calculating the mole fraction of oxygen, you need the moles of oxygen in the numerator divided by the moles of oxygen plus the moles of the other components in the mixture. In this case, in our mixture, we only have two components, O2 and N2O. So we can calculate the mole fraction of oxygen as 2.83 moles divided by 2.83 plus 8.41 moles for the N2O. To three sig figs, the mole fraction of dioxygen in the mixture is 0.252. It's a fraction, the moles cancel out, so no units in your answer. The mole fraction of N2O, moles of N2O divided by moles of oxygen plus moles of N2O is 8.41, divided again by 2.83 plus 8.4, gives us a mole fraction of 0.749 for the N2O. So these are our mole fractions of our two components. That's our final answer to part A. The key thing to remember now is that Dalton's law tells us that we can calculate the partial pressure of each component of a gas phase mixture by taking the mole fraction times the total pressure. So if our total pressure is 192 kilopascals, now that we know the mole fraction of O2 and the mole fraction of N2O, we can calculate the partial pressure of each simply by taking the mole fraction X times the total pressure. So that means that in part B, the partial pressure of O2, uh-oh, my twos went away, please insert a two here and a two here. Contrary to what it says on the whiteboard right now, it takes two atoms of oxygen to make a molecule of oxygen. So our partial pressure of oxygen is equal to the mole fraction of oxygen times the total pressure, 0.252 times 192 kilopascals. The partial pressure of the oxygen is 48.4 kilopascals. Same process for N2O. The partial pressure of N2O is equal to the mole fraction of N2O times the total pressure. So 0.749 times the total pressure of 192 kilopascals. The partial pressure of N2O in this mixture would be 144 kilopascals. It's worth a check to make sure that the two partial pressures that we got roughly add up to the total pressure. 48.4 plus 144 is just over 192 kilopascals. That comes from rounding this pressure to three sig figs. So it looks like our answer checks out.